Well, hello there. I'm so glad that you're here today. I'm glad I'm here today. I am in Montgomery, Alabama. Didn't we have a great trip today? If you were with me, we came in from Santa Rosa Beach. Uh, we were in, uh, uh, my, I left my husband in Santa Rosa Beach to go to Toronto to Tribe Live and then uh, when I get back, I've got like one day left. So you saw, maybe saw my picture of the superior s sunset last night. It was so beautiful. But anyway, I just didn't want to miss a day without uh, going over our project and, and we're on the completion part of it. I am going to show you, this is, this was the original project that I had, Live, Love, Laugh, Relax. It was a slate project and uh, with flip-flops and everybody loved this and I came across it the other day and I thought, well, why can't we use that for a project? Because I have a bag here. This is really, um, people told me it was a wine bag. Let me get it. <clears throat> they said it was a wine bag and it looks actually like this. Hmm, I'm getting good, aren't I? Okay, this is the bag, and I've colored it now. Yesterday in our project, let me let me see your comments now. Uh, da 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 da. Okay, I'm just gonna get your comments right here. And uh, so I've taken my acrylics and I just painted these. Um, also, if you, in, if you requested a uh, template, I sent it to you. All you gotta do is send me your email address and I will send you the template for this. This one is done on what I thought was a bag, but it turns out it's like a wine bag or a beverage bag. And so I always stuff this with a piece of plastic so the paint doesn't bleed through. <clears throat> How incredibly smart of me. Okay, let me get situated here. I mean, this place is, when we, when we, when we uh, arrive, uh, everything is kind of like everywhere, but you think I'm organized, don't you? I'm not. So, <clears throat> uh, okay, all you need to do is let me hear, let me see if you have any, hey, hey, hey Maureen. And I will try to observe your comments every once in a while on my computer. I also, after I painted these, basic hot pink, basic turquoise, aqua, and basic yellow, I put a little tassel at the top. And this is so easy. If you want to just send me an email uh, or, a, I mean, a, a message, I'll send you the template for it. I fit three of these on here, and then I put... Uh, what had been uh, live, love, laugh, relax, and just put them all over. And I'm, what I'm gonna do today, I haven't been here long enough to even get any water in a cup, but I think I can do it in just a second. So talk amongst yourselves, this'll take me just, you know we're in our motor home, I didn't explain that, but um, my husband and I are full time in our RV, and this is the time of the year we're traveling. Uh, we, uh, we will be just in Montgomery just overnight because we're on the way to the birthplace of our motor home, which is uh, Tiffin um, Motor Homes in Red Bay, Alabama, one of our favorite places to go to. So tomorrow I will be doing a live from Red Bay um, and that will be finishing up this project and we'll be going on to something else. Now, yesterday, oh, I see it from here. Yesterday I announced that next couple of projects we're going to be doing a gourd so be looking we'll look out for a gourd and uh someone a uh, little birdie told me that hobby lobby is having a sale on a lot of their bags and their paints right now maybe they realize that there are some people painting for the next season so 
Who knows? Let me get the cop uh, with the the gourd, and I'll show you what we've done. I don't even have a gourd with me. I've got to be shopping for a gourd. But this is gourd season, I think. So this was the gourd that I painted to be like a flamingo. That's probably better to hold it up like this. And you won't have it in your yard for five minutes and there'll be birds in there fighting over who gets the top bunk and who gets the bottom bunk and they'll um, and who gets to stay there forever. So uh, these are, oh, I usually put stuff like, I can't think of the name of that. Do you remember, do you know the name of it, Maureen? Um, it has a name, the stuff you put in this. Anyway, I put green because uh, pink and green flamingos are kind of like okay to me. Uh, and I hope you'll pass this on so somebody can, when we get to the gourd painting, they'll wanna be with us. This is a fun uh, project. Uh, and then you'll want to get it cleaned before we get started too. So <clears throat> what have y'all been doing? Uh, Maureen trimmed her hedges today and I'm so glad that she survived that. Uh, what have the rest of you been doing? Meg was, uh, I don't know if she's going to be with us today, but she's working on this project and I sent her a template. Like I said, if you ever need a template, E, just message me and give me your email address and I'll send it back and it's the full size template. Okay, let me get some water so I can show you some other things we're gonna do here. I was telling you though that we live in our RV. We have lived here for 12 years and no, we're not crazy, homeless, or any of those things. We've really enjoyed seeing America and it's a wonderful lifestyle, but it's not for everyone and I understand that. And it also comes in a season of your life. Uh, we've really enjoyed it though. So just kind of like look at what I'm doing. Oh, I wish I have a, this will make it a little bit easier. So, anyway, like I said, we're only going to be here about uh, until in the morning, and then we s then we set out for Red Bay, Alabama. Now, if you don't know where Red Bay is, no, it's not Raffia. It's something else. It's kind of like there's a name for all that curly Q paper stuff, but it, I think birds like it too. Um, I'm just going to dip my, my brush in some water and I'm going to put a little bit of shading on here. It doesn't need it, but uh, you know, I've put the black in here uh, with a Sharpie. Uh, I decided this morning, uh, whenever I was looking at this and trying to decide what I would do after it's over, because you know, it's got Sharpie in it. And maybe that would, maybe when it gets wet, it might be like my tribe tattoo that I got in Toronto. Uh, it won't come off. What was temporary does not come off. But, uh, and, and I used baby oil just like everybody suggested uh, and it didn't help. So if I'm, I'm looking for some suggestions about that. Uh, I'm so glad you watched. Um, I didn't really think I was going to be able to do a live today because, well, we got here um, about 3.30. So anyway, as you can see, all I'm doing is kind of shading this so it will lift up and show the, um, the flip-flop. And I'm gonna do it over here also. Move this over so you can see it. And I'm doing it over on the inside of the foot. Uh, I might take a paintbrush just in finishing this up. I, if you want to, don't worry, be happy. But if you want to, 
uh, you could do a little fancy lettering in here. Um, remember yesterday, or I'm, I shouldn't even admit it because you probably weren't looking yesterday, I spilled a little bit of paint right there. You can see the stain. And I'm going to, um, I'm still working on it because it looks better than it did. It was a hot pink stain. Okay. So anyway, I'll turn this over and we'll do the other side right here, this one. So, Wednesday, are you getting ready for the weekend yet? Uh, we'll be in Red Bay for a couple of weeks, probably. So I'll definitely be able to take you around to some of the hot places like Catfish Johnny's and what else? Reeve Steakhouse. Yeah. The Mason Jar. Yeah. Yeah, there's some good ones there. I mean, we love to go to Red Bay. And I don't think we'll go there, but we are going to go to the Rattlesnake Saloon. That's someplace you won't want to miss. Um, I mean, I, I mean, you're here whether you want to be or not. You just turn off your uh, Facebook and you don't have to look at some of the crazy places we're going. Uh, but they're fun. You know, Rattlesnake Saloon is actually in a cave in northern Alabama. And if you look up on the map where Tiffin is located, you'll see, hi Jane, you'll see um, there's a coon dog cemetery close by. It's not close, it, we're, we're near Muscle Shoals and uh, where we do, uh, don't, don't you dance in Muscle Shoals or something like that? And, and we're near Florence and so, yeah. So I think that pretty well gives it a nice shadow, nothing fancy. But people will stop you and say, I promise you, they do this to me all the time. Where did you get that bag? It's lovely. And I'll say, well, it's nothing. It's just my groceries. But this one, this is one that's divided. I don't know who gave this to me, but I feel so fortunate now. So tomorrow, we're gonna finish this bag. I want you to send me some pictures and I really am interested in seeing them if you'd produce a bag because I'm gonna keep count of your progress because I think you make progress. The more you paint, the more progress you make. Um, I enjoy teaching. I teach um, at um, RV rallies all over the country for RV manufacturers as well as the Family Motor Coach Association and for private RV resorts when I'm invited. And so uh, I've been doing this for about eight years and I really enjoy it and I love to see people make progress and enjoy painting and getting to know each other later better. Just remember, this is about fun art, not fine art, but I will teach you a lot along the way. Uh, so thank you for being here and thank you for traveling with me to Montgomery, Alabama tomorrow, Red Bay or Bust. And, oh, I wanted to tell you too, one of our stops along the way for anybody that goes to Red Bay, you gotta go to Elvis Presley's home in Tupelo, Mississippi, right over the state line there in Alabama. So you just gotta keep, you gotta keep tuned or you're gonna miss something. So glad you're here. Y'all go out and just know it's a great day to have a great day. And you know what they say in South Beach, don't you? Those girls down there say, love ya, mean it. That's L-Y-M-I. Y'all come back here. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.